Alrighty, um, just wanted to do a quick video. Um, I know a lot of people do homeschool now, and you know, they basically have to, you know, start from scratch. Or some people know what they're doing, some people don't. Like myself, I don't know what I'm doing. But I want to show you something. I got this from the Habitat, so. Obviously, you most likely can get it from somewhere else. I only paid $3 for it. But I wanted to show you one thing that I found. This is the self-standing pocket chart. And it's the one, two, threes. Um, it comes with 81 colorful cards. So I don't know if it has more numbers. But I thought this was pretty cool. And, you know, it's something that can help. Especially if you have a child like mine that... You know, they need more hands-on than they do um, computer screen. They need more, like, stuff that they can physically do rather than just doing it on a computer. Computer's good, but it doesn't always help, you know. You can memorize things. But with this, it's like, I like old school. I ain't gonna lie. I like being the way we were growing up and we learned off of different things. But I got this. Um, I got some clock cards. Let me see if I can get those right quick. I should have already had this stuff situated. Disregard the potato chips on the chair behind me. But anyway, but I got some other stuff. But I'm always going there because they have like... People take their stuff up at teachers, anybody takes their stuff to um, the Habitat Restore. Um, I got these. These were $2. But these are time, um, tell time, match me. Telling time, match me cards. Um, these are brand new, never open, as well as the other thing that I showed you was brand new. This is the only thing that was not brand new that was already open. But I looked inside, it had most of it. I ain't going to say it had all of it. But I paid three bucks for this, but I think I paid less because the kids' toys was on sale, unless they consider this um, schooling. But pancake pile up, how cool is that? And let me show you something. And this is what made me get it because I'm like, pancake pile up might be little cards or whatever. Look how cute! These are literally spatulas and little pancake looking things. You just you get the little plates. They're plastic, well, not plastic, uh, paper, kind of. But I thought this was like a really cute game. Um, I don't think I have all the stuff. I got some cards in here, but I don't know if this is all the cards. I don't know how many are supposed to be in here. But in general, and then you have the little butter. I'm trying to show you this way, but it's this way. Little butter, a little different decorative plain pancakes pancakes with bananas. I thought it was really cute. Blueberries. Um, but yeah. I know that like a lot of people are like, why don't you just buy brand new wood? <sighs> I'm on a budget, to be honest. I'm, I don't I don't like spending a lot of money when I don't have to, you know. So anytime that I can find a deal or get it cheaper than what it is in a store, you know, clean it up use it the same way you would use it if you bought it brand new um i don't i don't know some people are like i like to buy brand new stuff well when you buy a lot of stuff all the time it's like you really don't have the money for one and you just you know what does it hurt to buy it used you know sometimes i ain't gonna lie sometimes i do get duds sometimes i get stuff and all the stuff doesn't be in there because we got a um, Mario racetrack thing. Majority of it was in there, but the major key points wasn't in there. So I got a track. I'm thinking I'm going to throw it away, but I don't know. But that's not what the video is about. I just want to show you some things that, you know, I don't know if this is every um, Habitat store where you go in and you see the furniture and all that stuff. But the one I go to, um, they have this kind of stuff. And they've been having it more often. They, um... They have like school supplies, you know, notebooks and stuff like that as well that come from like Walmarts that they send it over. Um, but yeah, um, they just they have a lot of cute little things in there that you can um, 
you can purchase for a, a discounted price and whatnot. They have Christmas decor and stuff like that. So you can, you know, if you're on a budget and you know you want to have a nice holiday, I know personally that stuff in stores is expensive. We've done that before. We went and bought brand new stuff to set up for the holidays or just occasions, and it's like. You can get a discount, go and do it. Okay, it's still recording. My computer died. Um, but I'm trying to open this thing. This, Let's see, what it's about and what all it has going on. Oh, I almost broke it. Like a little tab that you put your cards in the back and hold them there when you're not using them. Um, but a lot of times, I'm opening this because a lot of times I buy stuff and I don't open it and I don't use it. But I'm trying to get out of that because I miss out on a lot of opportunities to do things with my son just by, what you call it? But a lot of people like, um, you have to start from the grade level that your child is, is in when they're in school. And I'm going to tell you, I didn't do that. When I started doing this, I started from the beginning. Now, mind you, we are still new at this. We are still working on doing these things but sometimes they try to like push children through school and you know they get behind on things and a lot of things that they said he knew he did not know so I just took it upon myself to like try to incorporate things that he might have missed out on with the things that he's doing now you know so far I know that I am not the best homeschool mother I'm not Oh shoot, I done dropped all of the stuff. Oh my God. At least if you weren't be talking so much, you might be able to do something. Okay. But, anywho. But yeah, this goes up to I don't even know because it's offset. <laughs> what is going on? Why are the numbers so backwards? Well, anyways, it's in the higher numbers because that's what it's showing. But yeah, it has the. The little how many there is up there you count how many it is and you match it with the um the number cards and two that's crazy because it's literally not set right <coughs> I thought it would be in order So how many is it? I mean, one, two, because it has 100 up here. 25, 14, oh my goodness. I don't 
don't like when things are not in order. I'm not gonna lie. I like when things are like the order they're supposed to be in, like one, two, three, four, five, so forth. Not one. This is, this is how this went. Now I picked these off the floor, but one, five, eighteen, sixteen, two, nineteen, three, seventeen, four, sixteen, twenty, ten. 22, 7, 23, 8, 21, 9, 11, 24, 15, 50, 12, 100, 13, 25, 14. How is this? We're not going to get into that. We're just going to be happy that we got it. You know, we're not going to complain. That's weird. What no? Why don't we just show? Okay, starting start by displaying all the numbers on the chart to teach the, the basics of counting. Then match numbers to objects cards to reinforce their connection to the world. As your child advances, begin matching numbers, objects, and word cards to show how no, numerals are represented as represented as words. Sorry, I get ahead of myself when I read sometimes. But anywho. But it's a little easel. That's what it is. It's a pocket easel. It stands on the table. And you got the little pocket thing where you put the cards when you're ready to put them up. But it's got the little slits. Do I have two cards over? I thought it was two. Okay, you put the card up here. You put the card. And then you connect it with the object. Obviously, y'all know what I'm talking about. You do I'm on the wrong side. One, then you do object and then the name. But it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Something basic, something easy to learn. And the things that kids learn nowadays is it's beyond me, but it's just so different. I know the world is changing and you know you have to progress with that but in some terms I just wish that things were not as difficult for some of us. Now see I am a more technical person sort of. I like technology. I always was into computers and not really suave with it, but I like it. But see, the more, oh my God. Melissa, you just need to stop. You just need to really stop because you're just throwing everything around. I think the best way to do these, in my opinion, if you get this, if you buy this, if it's interesting to you, if you buy it. Yeah. But if you buy this, best thing you can do is probably put these in Ziploc bags, little little Ziploc bags, because otherwise you're going to have to have this set up all day. And if you're like me, you want it out the way, and you don't want it sitting on a table, especially if you don't have room for it. But, yeah, you just set it up and just do whatever it is. But this is what it is, self-standing pocket chart by Tabletop Teaching, it's Active Mind, Numbers and Counting. It's no um, alphabet or anything, but that's all right. You know, they need to know numbers. <clears throat> they probably have other ones, but yeah, that is what involves in this little thing, this little um, teaching thing. Now, this is something that I think this is too advanced for him, but we're still going to have to start working on it and whatnot because he needs to know his times. He needs to know, like, what time it is and how to tell a tell time on a clock. But <clears throat> if you are out there and you have advice for me about how to, you know, homeschool and whatnot and what works for you. My child is autistic. He was diagnosed with autism. He shows signs of autism. So, a lot of, why is my shirt just going all off? Disregard how I look, if I look bad to you. Um, 
but I just want to know how like other people do it with children um, with autism or ADHD or just in general how do you start off with your program and do you start from the basics like I try to do and start from the beginning like head start pre-k and work your way up or do you start from what grade they are in school I mean I know like if you're in ninth grade you wouldn't go all the way from the beginning obviously but if they're like showing signs of being behind what is it that you do um, to help them if you don't go back or do you just incorporate it somewhat because I just you know I want other aspects of it I don't want to just go with what I think is right you know because I might be wrong I might be like Melissa you're holding him back from knowledge that he needs and I don't have a lot of friends I really don't have any friends I have mom friends that my son um, is friends with their children and I met them along the way and we we've, we've grown closer you know I, I met people like that um, some I consider I don't know if they consider me you know but that's besides the point that's um, yeah you know um it's it's hard not having female friends or i really don't i'm not against not having male friends but i just don't i don't do it i don't have male friends i don't think i would ever have male friends just for the simple fact so it's just not i don't have anything in common <laughs> no offense guys um but sometimes you just need a female aspect, not a male, you know. Because if I need a male aspect, I'll just go to his father. And his answer will be something crazy. <laughs> but that's, um, that's totally off guard. No offense, Al, if you're watching me. No offense. But some answers you give me are not what I need to hear. But moms out there that homeschool or don't homeschool, but they teach their children in the meantime while they're going to school. Because I'll put like this. These teachers, when they're dealing with special needs children. Now, I don't know if any of y'all call y'all's children if they're autistic special needs, but I do. Um, because they do have special needs, you know. They have needs that aren't met naturally or like other children. So disregarded if it is offensive to you how I talk um, but his needs have to be met both ways at home and at school and for a long time I was in denial and I didn't work as hard as I should have on him on outside of school because I thought that it was just gonna go away I didn't feel like it was it was something that I could help with but in general, there's a lot of ways that us as parents can help our children. They might not be educational wise, or in our minds educational wise, but a lot of ways they are educational. You know, just be there for them, understand them, talk to them. Because children that are in a certain category, they are pushed to the side. They are categorized, obviously, um, and they don't feel equal. But it's your job to make them feel equal because they are you know yeah they might have things that they can't do like normal average students but they they're brilliant they really are but you just got to give them that that thing that thing that they're really good at and when they become really good at their thing then they'll branch off and go into other things my son loves Legos Legos. He loves creating his own things. He just, that's just what he does. And you know, I'm not mad. I'm not mad that he just loves Legos. They are expensive. They do get expensive, but that doesn't bother me. Um, but I'm just getting way off subject. I did not come here for that. I'm like jibber jabbing. I'm, I apologize if I spent too long on one thing um but I just wanted 
you know, to show you my items that I found at the Habitat for you. It's Habitat for Humanity. If you ever go and you ever see one, and they have a restore where they take stuff and they sell furniture and whatnot, just check them out, you know. You might find things that, you know, can help you if you're on a budget like myself. Even if you're not on a budget, they have, um, sometimes they have antiques and whatnot. You just gotta look. They have um, household things. They have doorknobs. They have just a, a lot of different things, um, but budgeting or not, it's still a it's still a place that you can go. This one has toys. My son loves to go in there and look through their toys. Sometimes they have good toys. Sometimes they have stuffed animals that he doesn't like. But in general, it's pretty nice. Pretty nice place to go. Just to you know have something different to do besides Goodwill. We usually go to Goodwill, but Habitat has become our place to go. Um. So yeah, if you have any questions or you want to ask me anything or tell me anything, just go ahead and just do it because, you know, I'm, I am curious to know how people do it um, a different way and just in general, just go ahead and talk to me. Just tell me some things. Alrighty. Enjoy y'all's day and I will be... I won't be seeing y'all, but I'll be talking to y'all, hopefully. I do this sometimes, but I don't do it all.